Malacanang is not keen on having a third Bayanihan stimulus measure. Palace spokesperson Harry Roque said there is a need to allow previous economic packages to run their course. Roque said the government's coffers might not be deep enough to fund another multi-billion peso revival measure. House Speaker Lord Alan Velasco and Marikina Representative Stella Kimbo earlier filed House Bill 8031 or the Bayanihan to Arise as One Act or Bayanihan 3. It provides for a third round of stimulus measures worth 420 billion pesos, which is significantly larger than the amounts approved for the first two Bayanihan packages. Velasco says the measure enjoys the support of a majority of the House. He says the proposed law is backed by 162 out of about 300 members, including those belonging to the supermajority, the minority, and even the independent blocs. Recall that if President Duterte refuses to sign the bill, Congress may still override that veto and pass the law anyway via a two-thirds vote with both chambers voting separately.